Last year, at the few days before UTMB, it was beautiful weather, you know, sunny, 70 degrees. But on the morning of the race, it was torrential downpours. It was a mental hurdle to overcome, and, and over the course of the race, I, I would discover that it was, you know, quite a physical barrier to, uh, to being able to succeed in that race. The first 40 miles, we hit some pretty extreme conditions, but I was keeping myself on the edge of warmth, and I was warm enough. We were climbing the third to last pass, and my body heat was slowly draining out of me. I went from competitive mode to survivor mode. One of the biggest challenges of running these endurance races is really being able to regulate your body temperature because on the climbs, you're really heating up, but then on the descents, you're cooling off. So the challenge was set as a result for us to work with the RD&D team to develop a set of clothing and equipment which was specifically designed to cope with the more extreme conditions. One of the most important things that, that we do when we're making new high-end running product is engage our athletes uh, who are out there running at the highest level in really extreme conditions and make sure that we find a way to utilize their experience in the creation of new running products. Flash dry is different than other technologies because it goes beyond simply wicking. Wicking moves moisture, but flash dry moves the moisture through to the surface of the fabric and then spreads it out so it can dry more quickly. So it's not just wicking, it's wicking plus drying. I think the difference between the flash dry technology and older wicking layers is that while older product certainly drew moisture away from your body, it didn't necessarily help regulate your body temperature. The end benefit of the flash dry system is that whether you're an elite runner out there in the high mountains doing a gnarly trail run or just on your neighborhood loop, you're gonna benefit by being drier and warmer and more comfortable so you can run longer. 2011, our athletes went back to UTMB. This time they were testing our new flash dry system. In the end, the 2011 UTMB was a huge success. We saw Lizzie Hawker win the women's race, but all of our athletes came away saying they were more comfortable, they were drier, and felt that they were able to perform at their best on race day.